some conjecture how we come to have them and how my dad had them, but you might notice there are numbers on them, which indicates to me that they are probably taken by German photographers and they were made available in some way or other to the POW. So uh, my dad uh, has written on almost all of them aspects of what they are and, and what they mean to him. So he became, a, he became a prisoner of war and that's how many of the Australian soldiers, you know, is this uh, a typical experience or is it an unusual experience to have been a prisoner of war in this? Uh, unusual experience of First World War, there weren't that many POWs. Uh, as far as I'm aware, at Gallipoli there was, would be only a handful that were ever registered POWs. So we're talking about photos of the POW camp at Salter, uh, and it was a very big camp with thousands of POWs. Uh, and so the photos show aspects of the camp uh, and some of the soldiers who were POWs from mostly uh, French and uh, um, Belgium, uh, British of course. It looks a fairly well stocked canteen. And of course my dad being a great sportsman shows aspects of the camp and obviously this camp had a lot of sporting activities. My dad uh, is shown in one of the races. He was also in a rugby team. And of course they played soccer and rugby and some fairly prominent, uh, particularly the British uh, players that uh, made up the POW soccer team. So as I said, they're fairly important to me, the photographs showing his life uh, as a POW.